Hello, hello. My eyes are burning. If they're red right now, I don't know what I got in them, but they're stinging a little bit. So <laughs> I'm not crying, <laughs> I promise. Today we're gonna try out the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this called? The Charlotte Tilbury, you would think that I would by now know what I'm gonna be talking about <laughs> before I turn on the camera. All right, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder, a community favorite. Uh, pressed powder formula, medium coverage, natural finish, best for oily combo, normal skin, without sulfates, yada, 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 and ultra fine setting powder. Blurs imperfections and visibly reduces shine. Coverage medium, finish natural, pressed powder. Highlighted ingredients, rose wax and almond oil help to nourish, soften, and moisturize the skin. Light reflecting pearls, pearlescent pigments, diffuse light as it hits your face to illuminate the complexion. This sounds like it's gonna be more of a radiant finish, which I want a more matte finish in my powder, but we will see. What else you need to know? This micro fine powder gives you an immaculate complexion and doesn't cake or sit in fine lines. Rose wax and almond oil hydrate and smooth skin, ideal for long lasting complexion or perfecting finishing touches. And you can now stay flawless because airbrush, airbrush flaws finish is refillable. That's cute. I got the sample size because this is $48, this is not cheap, and I'm not trying to spend $50 on a powder that I don't know if I like. I did that with the Bobbi Brown, but they don't have a smaller <laughs> size. And when I was there, all they had, I got shade three, which is tan, because they didn't have two medium, but I don't know, I think maybe this will work. I use the Natasha Denona concealer with my new concealer technique where I put some under the eyes uh, and then a little bit on the forehead and, and down here on the neck and then blend it all out. And this shade is a little bit light for me, but I'm still testing this out. So I thought that maybe these would, you know, balance each other out because this is a little darker and this is a little bit lighter. So that's why I decided to use these two. Yeah, and if you have not seen my video on my new concealer technique, then definitely check that out. I will link that down in the description box below. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get to applying this to the face and see. So I have my moisturizer, my sunscreen, and then my concealer on, so we're gonna set it. And then I have a bunch of running around to do, so we're gonna check in, see how it performs. You know how we do. All right, and oh, I got this new Sodi Kashuk uh, powder brush. It is very soft. I am really digging it. I just got it a couple days ago, but I'm really into this. So we're gonna use that to apply to half the face. It's a big brush for getting this little pan, so bear with me. Ooh, a little bit of dust is coming off this. Let me get a, let me get a mirror. We're gonna powder half the face. This shade is a little dark for me, I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of tell on camera. <laughs> but okay, so this is the powdered side. What do we think? And then on done side. It's definitely blurring the skin. It does have a little bit of pigment in it. <laughs> That's why I say this shade is a little bit dark for me. So just be mindful of that. It's not a very like translucent. It does have a little bit of pigment in it. I can't tell if it's the concealer. I'm still testing out the Natasha Denona. I can't tell if it's the concealer or the powder, but I feel like the concealer looks just a little bit, a he little bit heavy. And so then the powder on top makes it look heavy. But uh, the, the powder looks nice. So, okay, I'm gonna powder the other side. We're gonna check out the finished look. All right, here's the finished vibe. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm kind of seeing what the hype is about. It's definitely blurry. We're gonna carry on through our day and I will let you know what is the tea. All right, it's been a couple hours, only a couple hours. You're probably not gonna be able to see. Let me get close. I am pretty sweaty. <laughs> so I would say that this looks really nice on the skin. It's blurring. It looks good on the skin, but it's definitely not like a super mattifying powder. So if you have drier skin, this might be really nice. I feel like it gave like a really nice like not, I don't want to say radiance because it's not like radiant, but just like a soft like creaminess to the skin. But for me and my combo oily skin, this is not a product that's going to work for me. So. If you have drier skin, this is gonna look beautiful on you. For me, this is gonna be a no. Thank you so much for joining me on this review. I will link down below a playlist to all my other reviews so you can check those out. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. And so hit that subscribe button and check out all my new videos coming up. 
Thank you again so much for joining me. I will check you on the next one. Bye.